So the second step is to examine closely the external surface, including the natural openings. Now we are going to demonstrate necropsy in fish. The purpose is to examine for possible sickness or illness and to take samples from internal organs. This is uh, a fish properly anesthetized and euthanized. The first thing we do is uh, examination of the external body including the natural openings, the tail, the anal fin, the dorsal fin, the pectoral fin, the oral cavity, the eye, and uh, the gills. to see the color or if there is any parasite. Just before conducting necropsy, we have to be sure that all required instruments are in place. We have uh, the dissecting instrument to dissect the fish. We need a sterilized set of instruments that includes scissors, and forceps and scalpel, either a disposable scalpel or a non-disposable scal scalpel with a scalpel handle. That's very important. The other important set of instruments is uh, sampling jars and preservatives. Here we have a set of equipments. We see here Eppendorf empty rows, uh, tubes, uh, tubes with RNA lighter and transport medium for virological examination and a 10% buffered formalin for histological examination. And it's also important to have empty plastic bags to have samples without preservatives. To just keep the samples fresh, we have to have uh, an ice to keep the uh, samples uh, temporarily. To the set of instruments, it includes also blood taking instruments. Uh, you can either use syringes or vacutainers. Vacutainers. Uh, these are also important to take blood samples. The other set of instruments is to take uh, a culture, a bacterial culture on uh, a culturing agar. Here we have uh, two very important media, the blood agar and the marine agar. These are commonly used to uh, or in, in fish diagnosis. Here we use different types of materials to take, I mean, a sample for culture. Either we can use a cotton swab or an inoculating uh, an inoculating needle which is disposable